How to Create the Awesome Ribbon 3D Title Effect First, create a new timeline. Open Effects Library. Under Toolbox, click Effects. Drag the Fusion Composition to the timeline. Adjust the Fusion Composition Clip Duration as you like. Go to Fusion Page. Insert a Renderer 3D node, a Merge 3D node, and a Camera 3D node. Connect them as shown. Now, press Ctrl and Space on your keyboard and search Ribbon. Add the Ribbon 3D node. Connect it to the Merge 3D node. Drag the Merge 3D node to the left window. You can now see the ribbon and camera in the 3D space. Click the Renderer node. In the Inspector, under Reporting, change the Renderer type to OpenGL Renderer. On the left window, pull the blue arrow of the camera to bring back the camera a little bit. Now, you should be able to see the ribbon on the media out on the right window. Click the Ribbon 3D node. You can adjust the thickness of the lines in the Inspector. With the Ribbon 3D node selected, Press Ctrl and Space and Search Bender. Add the Bender 3D node between the Ribbon 3D and Merge 3D nodes. In the Inspector, change the Bender type to Twist. Change the axis to X. And increase the amount to 1. Now, the ribbon should twist like a DNA. To make the curve smoother, select the Ribbon 3D node. Increase the subdivisions to higher than 50. Select both the Ribbon and Bender 3D nodes, copy and paste them. Connect them to the Merge 3D node. Select the second ribbon. Reduce the number of lines to 4. Increase the thickness and width. To color the first ribbon, insert a background node and connect it to the green triangle of the first ribbon. Go to Inspector, change the type to Gradient. Select the left cursor on Gradient and change the color to whatever you like. Select the right cursor for Gradient. Change the color to black and reduce the alpha to 0. Do the same thing for both our two ribbons. Insert a background node between Renderer 3D node and Media Out to see the beautiful lines we created. To add the title on the ribbon, insert a text 3D node and connect it to our second ribbon. Drag our second ribbon to the left window. Select the text 3D node and start typing your title on the text box in the inspector. You will see some shit on the Media Out, just pretend you didn't see it. Play around and adjust a font, size, color, and other style attributes until you're satisfied with it. Use the arrows on the left window to position the text between the top two lines of the ribbon. Drag the Merge 3D node back to the left window, adjust the camera position until you see the shitty text on the media out. Click the Bender node that connects to the ribbon with text, check the Group Objects box. And the text isn't shitty anymore. We want to shorten the first ribbon a little bit to show the text. To do it, first select the background node. Bring back the left cursor on gradient a little bit. You can also input a number into the box below. Add another marker on the left. Move it close to the first one. Drop the alpha value down to zero. Now, it looks like the first ribbon is shortened. Next, select the first ribbon. Go to the first frame of the timeline. In the inspector, click the dot on the right of ribbon rotation to keyframe it. Then, go to the last frame of the timeline. Enter minus 1800 in the box for ribbon rotation. This number is the degree of rotation. 1800 degrees means 5 full cycles and minus means anti-clockwise. Do the same for the other ribbon. Play the clip and you'll see the ribbons are rotating nicely. Next, select the camera 3D node. Adjust the angle on the left window until you see the camera, just like what I did. If you don't know how to adjust the angle, Google yourself. In the inspector, go to Transform, click Pivot, adjust the Z value until you find the camera's pivot point at the center of the spiral. Make sure you're on the first frame of the timeline, click the dot on right of the Y value under Rotation to keyframe it. Go to a frame somewhere 80% of the timeline. Enter 450 to the Y value. The camera should now rotate around the ribbon like this. On the last keyframe, that the camera stops rotating. Adjust the X value under translation to wherever you satisfied. Go back to first frame of the timeline, adjust the position of camera until it cannot see the ribbons. Go to the last 20 or 30 frame of the timeline, click the dot to keyframe the X value under translation. Then, go to the last frame of the timeline, input a ridiculously high number to the X value to get a nice zoom out action. Now, the camera movements are all ready. 
Next, let's get some right on effect for the text title. Find the perfect frame that you want your title to start appear. Select the text 3D node, keyframe right on in the inspector. Adjust the scroll bar until all text disappeared. Go to around 10 frames later, adjust the right on scroll bar to make all text appear. Then, go to a later frame that the text cannot be seen by the camera. Keyframe the right on and then go to the next frame. Adjust the right on scroll bar to hide all text. Now, the text is secretly disappeared behind the camera. We will add some particles to make the environment like the galaxy. First, select and duplicate the second ribbon and bender nodes. Connect them to the Merge 3D node. Select the new ribbon 3D node, uncheck Visible under Visibility in the inspector. Insert the Particle Emitter and Particle Renderer nodes and connect them to the new ribbon 3D node as shown. Select the Particle Emitter node in the inspector on the Controls page, reduce the number under Emitter, increase the velocity to a higher number. On the Style page, change the style to Blob, reduce the size to very small and add a tiny bit of size variance. On the Region page, increase the region size all the way to 1. Our galaxy effect is now ready. We're nearly there, but we won't stop yet. Let's add some glow effect on it. Select the Renderer 3D node, press Ctrl and Space, and search Glow. Add the Glow node after the Renderer 3D node. In the Inspector, adjust the attributes as you like. Change and scroll each attribute until you find a nice look. You can also add Soft Glow by inserting the Soft Glow node. It all depends on you. For the last step, we will add a big title reveal. Add a new text 3D node, render a 3D node, and merge 3D node. Connect the 3 to a merge node after the glow node, and then connect the camera 3D node to the new merge 3D node as well. With your title typed in, make sure you change to X value of translation on transform page. The value should be near, but smaller than the highest X translation value of your camera. For example, my camera will go up to 20 at the last frame, so I set it as 14, so that the title will be captured by the camera at the last moment. Before we finish, let's add a spotlight to the big title. Insert a spotlight node and connect it to the Merge 3D node. Make sure your left window is showing the Merge 3D node. Use the arrows to position the spotlight in front of the text title. Adjust the Y value under Rotation on the Transform page to turn the spotlight towards the text. You can change the color on the controls page as well if you want. You can't see the spotlight yet because light and shadow were disabled. To enable them, select the Renderer 3D node, check the lighting, and shadows boxes under lighting. Now, the spotlight is turned on. Adjust the spotlight's position on the transform page so that the whole title is properly exposed. Play around and modify the colors, styles sort of things. Add some catchy background music, and finally, you've made an awesome Ribbon 3D title effect. Hooray! If you like this tutorial, give a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos. If you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you.